it is time now to allow your creativity to not put yourself on the back burner or keep saying, oh, I'll get to that. You have this inspiration come, this great idea, some kind of creative outlet, and you kind of put it aside because you have all these other things to do that some way you have prioritized to be more important than letting your creativity out. Well, I'm going to talk about on this video today how you will actually get more done and have um, easier solutions come to you when you can allow yourself to be in your creative flow. So that's what we're going to talk about here. And um, let's see what happens. I'm going to pull some cards most likely, and we'll just see where the energy takes us. <laughs> All right, so let's talk about this thing with um, allowing your creativity. Um, the reason I'm making this video is because it's coming in very strong for me right now to actually do this. To, to and I, you know, I've been. I, I, funny thing is, I was born into this world as an artist, right? Everything I did when I was a kid was all around art and creating in so many different ways, and um, I got pulled away from that. Actually, I was, in, I was in advertising for many years, but as in my adult years, after having um, my child and maybe moving away from advertising because I was just too burnt out, um, really getting deep into the karate career with my husband, and then coming into healing, right? So, well, actually coaching first, and then healing aspect of my coaching came in as well. So, you know, I, I do follow my inspiration. I, I go wherever the energy is taking me. But there have been a few times where I was really drawn to let that really creative side of me out. And for a while I did mosaics. And then, um, you know, I, I wasn't loving it. I did enjoy it, but it was a lot of work. Mosaics are a lot of work. Um, it's not, it, it didn't feel as freeing as I had hoped it would feel. So anyway, I stopped doing that. And then, you know, always going back to really just putting my nose to the grindstone kind of thing, right? To build my business and to, you know, take care of all these things, letting go of that creative aspect of myself. Well, now, you know, I've been, I have a lot, a lot of people have been talking about how the energy is really shifting and, you know, major changes are on the, on the horizon, and especially in this month of September. So... What's been happening for me is I've been getting these hits in my meditation. I've been getting these messages to start painting. Now, I haven't painted since high school, but look, canvas, ready to go. Um, I rearranged my whole office. I've changed the directions of everything. I'm setting up new crystal grids. Um, and just making, just revamping my whole space for not only the coaching and healing I do, but to bringing this aspect, this creative part of me that, that kind of has been trapped for a while, right? It hasn't really been able to fully express. Of course, it's always expressed in some way, decorating the house, you know, things like that, or just the way you put things together, putting together graphics for my business. Yeah, that's there a little bit, but it's not that free, really free-feeling energy that this painting's going to give me. And I haven't even started yet, but I'm really looking forward to it. So I went out. The thing is, so creativity. It could, so for me, it's coming in for oil painting, but it could be anything. But my, my main point I want to make in this video is when the inspiration is coming in, do not ignore it. Go with it. Experiment with it. Take it even at the smallest degree of letting yourself like for me, oil painting, I'm like, oh my God, I haven't oil painted forever. Like why? You know, like it's almost a little scary for me. I'm like, I don't even know if I could do it anymore. But I do know that once I get in front of that canvas and I just start putting paint on it, that something will evolve because I'm being pushed that much towards it. And I'm also getting glimpses of images or pictures or shapes, colors that I know are part of it. So I'm trusting that the creativity wants to flow through me in that way. So whether it comes through as another part of my healing aspect, you know, something that will give that kind of joy and inspiration and healing to someone else through a canvas, well then, hey, that's great. Right now, I don't know where it's going. I'm just following the inspiration. So, so I went out and bought stuff. 
I bought all the supplies needed. I just, I just um, figured, okay, I'm just going to go with it. Because what happens is when inspiration comes in, and you don't act on it. And I know this is, and I know this has happened for my family a lot. Like my husband and my son are very creative thinkers, more in uh, a mechanical kind of a way, like inventing stuff. So they've had ideas that they did not act on for whatever reasons. Um, show up like a year later, somebody else has done it. So it's like when inspiration wants to come, when spirit, God, angels, guides are sending you this information, you may not be the only person getting it, but it's something that needs to bring, that needs to be brought out to bring more light to the collective consciousness in some way, even if it's just for you feeling the joy of it while you're doing it, because that energy goes out. It doesn't just stay here confined in your body or in your aura. It, it extends out to everything because we are all one. So whatever it is that's coming to you, because I'm, I bet you, Ideas are coming to you. Maybe you put that in the comments below. Ideas that have come to you that you thought, nah, I don't even know if I could act on this, or that's kind of crazy. Why is that coming to me? It's coming to you for a reason. So you don't have to be an expert at whatever it is. You don't have to know all the answers to it. All you need to do is take one little action step towards something that is a part of that inspiration that came in. And then you know what? It's true inspiration. Spirit's going to keep sending you whatever you need to fulfill that aspect of you. It's almost like accidentally stepping into your calling or your true purpose or what sets you up to be in the energy of moving into what you're here to do in this life. So, you know, I mean, we can step aside from all the stuff going on in our lives and kind of be objectively watching and then open your awareness to watching more of what's collectively maybe going on then you can maybe step into that role a little easier not putting like it's like a burden oh I had this inspiration I have to do this because spirit sent it to me no you actually don't have to do it but if spirit sent it to you it's for your highest good so as you can just even be in the joy of doing it um, that energy really truly is what, what it's all about just bring in more joy and love and openness to inspiration to the planet. I think uh, I think I could end this video right here and that would be enough. But let's just pull a card or two and, and see what happens. I don't know. For some reason I picked up the Energy Oracle deck first. I have three decks out and I didn't know which I was going to do. So I've got First Chakra Archangel Michael, but in the reverse position. Huh. All right, let's take a look. 35 reversed. Let's see what it says. Mm -mm -mm. I, I really don't, I don't know for sure where this is going to go. Stability and security. Okay, that's that first chakra. So in the reverse position, it says, when this card shows up in reverse position, you may be feeling some significant changes and even some very difficult emotions. Yes, for sure. A lot of that going on right now at this time. The energy in your first chakra may be blocked revealing potential fears about your safety, feelings of insecurity, or even depression. This blocked energy could also signal financial worry or desperation. So even right there, stepping into your creative energy can, can move that, that energy that is feeling blocked down there. I mean, it just really will open everything up. Um, okay, so the rest of the card is telling us. Issues of instability can shake you to your very core. So it's going to be important to get the energy moving freely through your chakras, one, through the chakra once again. Call upon Michael for assistance and visualize, visualize his light and power filling this area and bringing you a greater sense of your own strength and eternal stability. Meditate on the affirmation below and feel your sense of safety and balance return. So let's read this affirmation. My first chakra is open to its perfect healthy state. I am strong, stable, safe, and secure. The Archangel Michael guides you, guides me, and supports me always. Um, yeah, well, okay, so that's a good card because it's, number one, talking about freeing up that energy. And if you have been going through financial struggles um, or difficulties in some way, shape, or form, in, in really any area, I'd say, um, allowing yourself to tap into that creativity is going to open it all up. I mean... We are creative beings. We come here to create. So when we stop creating 
from inspiration and only are pushing our way towards the different steps we have laid out before us that our mind came up with, which is great, but how much of that is really truly from your soul? You know, like, is it more ego or soul? So there's always that balance. I talk about this a lot because it's so easy to get stuck in that ego mind. But so if you let yourself go through some sort of creative outlet, whether it be painting or mosaics or um, fixing up a car and restoring it, and that's what my husband's doing right now, it could be anything, anything at all. Um, just let it go. Just go with it. So let's go. Let's go with uh, Native Spirit deck. Uh, I've started using this one recently again. I haven't used it for a long time, so I don't even recall much actually about it. It's been that long. Oh, the talking stick. <laughs> I made an awesome talking stick. It's at my office in my my uh, antenna line in my karate school. Okay, so let's see what the talking stick wants us to talk about. <laughs> talking stick. All right. So the card meaning, speak your truth. Okay, there we go again. So, you know, that cr you are a creative being. So, if, so just uh, really right now, just play with allowing whatever inspiration comes to you to be implemented in some way, shape, or form. Just go with it. Maybe this video will empower you to just take that step and go for it. Do something that really lights you up. Because the more you light up, the more the whole world lights up. Okay, so anyway, the card is talking about, let's see, let's see what the whole card has to say. Uh, the soul loves the truth. Communicate from your heart and share your reality without hesitation. Be willing to stand before the crowd and share from your center. This isn't the time to be shy and hesitant. It's time to heal through communication. You have the gift of a true leader through the, very, through the way you're, you communicate with others. So it could be, so whatever this inspiration is for you, maybe it is just another way of communication. I mean, I can't wait to get some paint on there. I think I'm going to start tomorrow. I have everything all set up, ready to go. Um, okay, so it says your native spirit wants you to know during tribal council meetings, a decorated stick called the talking stick would be passed around. As each council member held the stick, he or she had the opportunity to speak from the heart. Each person in attendance would be asked to weigh carefully the words of each speaker. The talking stick reminds each person to be authentic. Communication restores trust and allows you to clarify your ideas, positions, and feelings. It can be healing when you share what has been withheld. So, you know, maybe even that part of the way this card is speaking to what I'm talking about is maybe even talk to other people about these ideas you had or this inspiration, but you're kind of nervous to take a step on it or act on it and, and see, see what the outer reflects to you, you know? Maybe you'll have people encouraging you, yeah, you know, or even sharing that they've been in the same spot where they're like, yeah, stuff has been coming to me to do, but it's so like not what I normally do that I'm afraid to do it. So, you know... <laughs> Talk it out. Listen to each other. That's the main thing with the talking stick because usually the person who has the stick talks. Nobody else talks. Everybody else just absorbs what's being said and is with the energy and with the communication that person's sending. So it says, now's the time to take the risk. Have the courage to speak with clarity. Be forthright. Share any unspoken darkness that lays heavy in your heart. There are times to hold back and be discerning, but this is not one of them. Even if you're afraid, declare your truth for all to hear without fear of being rejected or misunderstood. When you do this, transformation and healing can occur. So the journey, it says, oh, okay, maybe this is your creative outlet right here. Decorate a stick or, uh, or a feather to use as your personal talking stick. Whenever you hold it, let it be a sacred, a sacred reminder to seek the truth within. Take a minute every day to take stock of where you are. And to ask yourself, what is so in your life? Simply taking a moment to discover your inner truth can have profound healing effect on your life. I love that. I'm so glad we picked that card because that's it. Use the talking stick just for you. Just for you to get those ideas out that have kind of been shelved, put to the side. See which ones still resonate. And even if you had felt you haven't had any inspiration coming in recently as you go back to older things that maybe you hadn't acted on you're like i don't know am i still interested in that one am i still interested in that one it opens up the energy flow again so that what is for you at this time on your path 
can drop in. All right, I want to pick one more card because I did pull out three decks. I'm going to um, Sonia Choquette's Trust Your Vibes deck. I always enjoy this deck. And let's see what we get. Mentors and role models. Huh. Interesting. So, could just be that if this inspiration that comes to you feels so outside of your wheelhouse, that maybe there's something to um, seeking out mentors, looking at role models. I don't know exactly how she's going to intend it, but that's it right there. Actually, because I hadn't oil painted in so long, I looked up some YouTube videos, you know, to just get back in knowing some of the basics of it so that I can have that already behind me without having to discover it for myself, right? There's information out there. There's always ways of finding support that kind of builds you up and makes it much easier for you to go ahead and follow in the inspiration. So let's see, number 18. What? All right. If you've heard that being intuitive is a special gift for only the selective few, then you've been misinformed. Ooh, yeah. That's really cool. Because some people might think, yeah, I'm not getting any inspiration. I don't have any new ideas coming to me about that, you know? Yeah, you probably do. You just don't even know how to recognize that they're coming in. Okay? But they are. Just trust that they are. Even if you had that be like an affirmation, I trust that inspiration is always coming to me and through me. That could make the change for you right there. Okay, so once you start paying attention to your vibes, you'll see that they... <laughs> That there are creative, artful, six sensory people all around you and they look normal except for one thing. They shine. Ah, oh, I love that. Because when you allow that creativity to flow, you're shining so bright that you can't turn it off. It's just there. And it's from those high vibrations that really allow you to let that light shine, to actually be your light, the truth of you. Um, <laughs> inspiration just starts flowing and flowing and flowing. Okay. It says, if you hesitate to step out of the closet as a sixth sensory person, I doubt anyone watching this video hesitates at all, but you know, maybe you do. This is your time. Then if you do, stop. Just let yourself shine. You, you are intuitive. Everybody's intuitive. It's your, tr it's your nature. It's your truth. Um, it's just a matter of noticing it when it shows up. Okay, so it says, uh, so you can look to mentors to inspire you to navigate this psychic highway with more confidence and and ease. So seek out public people uh, with who demonstrate that being sixth sensory can indeed be graceful, creative, supportive, and fun. Role models for intuitive living are not hard to find. They're people who are ethical, humanitarian, and spontaneous. Their aura sparkle, they laugh out loud, and their enthusiasm for life is infectious. They listen, they follow their heart, they trust their feelings, they speak their truth, and they act on their instincts without hesitation. And they encourage you to do the same. So ask them what their secret is, and inevitably they will say, I trust my vibes. There you have it. Perfect. So if you are getting inspiration, ideas that come, and you're like, I don't know, how can I ever possibly do that? It's coming for a reason. Follow it, baby step it, see where it takes you. If you think that it's not coming to you, it is. You just have to open up to um, recognizing these things or allowing them to even drop in in the first place. So it takes being in that childlike magical mind, letting go of all the seriousness of, the, of whatever's going on in your everyday life and allowing yourself to really, you know, remember being what it's like to be a little kid, right? There's magic everywhere they turn. They can make a story out of anything. They can make this whole fantasy out of whatever object you put in front of them. They haven't forgotten. They come here knowing this. It's your true nature. They tap into inspiration without even knowing they're doing it because it's just a normal flow. Unfortunately, we kind of get pulled out of that, most of us anyway, as we're growing up, as we take on more responsibility, uh, as we start giving away our inner trusting our inner selves and looking to the outside group collective as to what's normal, what isn't normal, what should be done, what shouldn't be done. <laughs> It'll take you away from your, from your truth. You have all your answers inside. So my hope in making this video is that I've inspired you to follow your creativity. Um, 
I will share whatever paintings come to me in the video, in another video. Um, why not? If, I, if I'm supposed to be doing it, it must be able to be given or inspiring someone else to do it. You know, even if only it was this video that was meant to come from it all. I don't know. I think it's a lot more than that. Um, I think it's really going to change up the way I do my coaching and healing. And uh, I'm just excited for the journey to see what happens. A little nervous because I haven't done it in a while. I don't know where that brush is going to take me, but I'm just going to invite spirit in, get that energy flowing, and then go for it. So I wish you a wonderful, wonderful, creative, inspiring September, October, November, December, your whole entire life. Um, just go with that flow. Allow yourself to be who you are because who you are is beautiful and magnificent and everyone will see it once you see it for yourself. Another great message. Thank you, Spirit. All right. I'll see you on another, another video. Bye.